Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says eight to the power of X plus one minus eight to the power of X minus one equals 252. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. For the first step, let's use these notes here. A to the B plus C equals A to the B times A to the C. So eight to the X plus one will equal eight to the X times eight to the one. And then we're gonna subtract this. 8 to the x minus 1 would be 8 to the x times 8 to the negative 1. And this will still be equal to 252. And then for the next step, let's copy this down. I want to rearrange these two, and let's rearrange these two. 8 to the 1 is the same thing as 8. And for the 8 to the negative 1, here's the notes for negative 1 exponents. A to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over A. So 8 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 8. And now we have this term minus this term. Each of these terms contains an eight to the power of x. So let's factor out eight to the power of x. Now we need to ask ourselves eight to the x times what will give us this first term. That's gonna be eight. And then we're gonna subtract eight to the x times what gives us this second term. That's gonna be one eighth. So this is the same thing as this. Now let's focus on the inside of the parentheses. In order to subtract these two terms, we need to give them a common denominator. Let's rewrite this eight as 64 over eight. 64 over eight minus one over eight is 63 over eight. And then we can smush everything together. I don't really like fractions, so let's get rid of this fraction. We can multiply both sides by the reciprocal eight over 63. On the left-hand side, since they're reciprocals, these two will cancel each other out. And on the right hand side, we can simplify the 252 on top can be divided by the 63 to give us four. And then four times eight is 32. Now we have eight to the X equals 32. A good way to solve this is try to give them the same base. Each of these can be expressed with a base of two. Let's copy this down and we can rewrite this eight as two cubed. And we can simplify this with these notes here. Anytime you have a to the b whole thing to the c, you can rewrite that as a to the quantity b times c. Two to the three whole thing to the x, we can rewrite that as two to the quantity three times x. And on the right hand side, 32 is the same thing as two to the fifth power. So now we have two to the power of three 3x equals 2 to the power of 5. This will only be true if 3x is equal to 5. Next, we can divide both sides by 3, and we end up with x is equal to 5 thirds. And this is the work showing it's a valid solution. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.